Welcome guys, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about fractions. So let's start right away because it's a very broad topic. So we start off with how does a fraction look like? So this is for example a fraction and you pronounce it like 4 over 7. And it consists of a numerator and a denominator. Fractions can be uh, can be negative as well, and then if a fraction is negative, you would write the minus sign in the numerator usually. And one thing you need to know about uh, fractions for sure is that the denominator can never ever be zero because that's mathematically not possible. Another thing, why do we use fractions? We use fractions basically because um, you cannot show every number in decimals. For example, 4 over 7, this is what it would look like as a decimal. So, how would you, like, how would you want to calculate with that? Or how long would it take to type that into your calculator? So, you can answer this for yourself. It's just unnecessary work. So therefore we use fractions or calculations. Other than that, one thing you need to know and which you will see in, uh, in the next steps is that if you say, if you have the same number in the numerator and the denominator, it's always equal to one. But you will see that when we go through the different, different types of calculations. So starting off first with the multiplication, what can you do or how can you multiply um, fractions? So for example, you could multiply a fraction with a fraction. And I got an example for that. Imagine now you have a number of cakes that you want to share among you and your friends. And imagine each of you gets three eighths of a cake. And now the number of persons that are sharing that, the number of friends uh, that are sharing this cake with you uh, doubled. That means that each of you gets half of the cake. So therefore we calculate 3 eighths times 1 half. And when you multiply or when you do multiplications with fractions, what you do is that you take both and multiply both. That means that you multiply in your numerator and in your denominator. And as you can see, you just multiply each row um, separately. And yeah, this is what you'll get. So each of you gets three or 16 of, of the cakes. So the number of cake that you are able to eat then is half of what you would have had previously. So another example, or to extend this example, now imagine we have the case that um, you get four more cakes. What does that mean to you and your friends from your uh, basic position? That means that you get four times as much than before. How does that look mathematically? As you can see, now we are calculating with the whole number. And if you calculate with the whole number, you only write that into your numerator. Because 4, I can write that down, 4 is equal to 4 over 1. And therefore, if you multiply 8 with 1, you will still get 8. And therefore, we only write that down in the numerator if you calculate with the whole number. Other things you can do with fractions which are based on multiplications, we can expand fractions. For example, you see 4 over 7 is the same as 12 over 21. How do you do that? So in this case we just expand with 3 and as you've seen before, why is that the same? We said that if you have the same number in your numerator and your denominator, this is always equal to 1. So 4 over 7 is just basically expanded with 3. And therefore we get a different number, but as a, as a part of something, it stays the same. That means you're not getting more. So other than expanding, you can also reduce fractions. What does that mean? That means basically the same thing as you do with the expansion of a fraction, just the other way around. So that means, imagine you have 6 over 10. 6 over 10, you see that you can divide both numbers with the same number. So that means you can divide 6 by 2 and you can divide 10 by 2. 
That means if you write that down, 6 over 10 is equal to 2 times 3 over 2 times 5. Why does it mean reduce? Because we can reduce the 2's and are only left with 3 over 5. And this is basically what um, how you expand or reduce fractions then. So, based on multiplications, exp expansions and um, reductions, we can also add or subtract fractions. How does that work? So, um, we'll continue with our example. Now imagine two different scenarios. So, in the first one, so we had 3 over 8 of the k before, and now some of some different friend that had another cake um, has left two thirds of his cake and gives it to you because you can eat that and you love cake. So the, the first scenario is that you get the two thirds of the cake. How would you how would you add that to to the cake that you had before? So first of all, you cannot just add them as the uh, as these fractions are. What you need to do first, you need to expand both fractions because there is one strict rule about additions and subtractions uh, for fractions that says the denominator must be the same if you want to add or subtract fractions. What does that mean? So you can either go and uh, try to look for, an, for a number that is somewhere in the middle between those two. For example, divide that and multiply that but that's mostly nonsense because it's too much work. So the basic or the m fastest way to, um, to expand that is you expand the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. So you see what we did over here. So 3 over 8 expanded with 3. And the second fraction is expanded with 8 from the denominator of the first one. And this is how we get then to our, to our final result by just simply expanding. So to show you a subtraction or to show you a different scenario, now imagine you want to give two thirds away of your cake because um, I know you are threatened that you will have problems with the too much sugar. So what you do is basically almost the same as in the addition. However, you take this second fraction away from the first one and then you get a negative fraction. Last but not least, sometimes the most confusing thing is uh, division and therefore I cited one of my early math teachers in school. Division is the multiplication of the inverse of a fraction. Okay, I know, <laughs> shitty sentence. However, this is something that you might need to, uh, might need to remember because this is super important for divisions of fractions and you will need that continuously in school because if you want to divide a fraction by fraction this is the way that you this is the most inconvenient one because this looks just shitty and you don't know where to start on uh, doing the calculation and if you want to type that into your calculator this is very confusing so what you do is basically first of all you build the inverse of your second fraction that you are dividing so that means we are dividing our 3 over 8 um, by 1 over 5. So first of all, 1 over 5, to get the inverse of that, is just basically turning the numerator and the denominator around. So that means you get 5, uh, 5 over 1. What you do next is, you take your first fraction as you had it before, and multiply that with the inverse of the second fraction. So what we did over here is 5. 3 over 8 times 5 over 1 and then you will get basically the result which is 15 over 8 and that's it. No magic behind that, nothing else, just simple mathematical rules that you can apply to that to get to your, exa uh, to get your results quicker. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, check out the other videos on my channel and if you have any specific question or any specific mathematical problem, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will make sure that I go through it and make a video about that.